So I, I felt the power of God for this brother. And I said, you got pain in your leg? He said, yes. <laughs> and, and, I have pain in my leg. That's <laughs> for sure. From an accident? Yes. From, for a while yeah. now. Should I tell quickly? Yeah, tell me the whole story. So yeah. 33 years ago. Oh, that is a while. Yeah. I was in a motorcycle accident. I was 18 years number. old and I didn't have health insurance. Yeah. And so I, I declined the ambulance because I could kind of move around. I felt a little wonky, but I'm like, people had put a fear in me about as soon as you get an ambulance, you owe like 10 grand. Right, so right, I said, right. go on. And my body healed around this. A little this. crooked. It was, it was a, a, a significant injury. So you got this, one, which leg is shorter than the other? One well, leg is shorter than the other. Four years ago, I started a rehabilitation program right. and I've been stretching myself straight. Yeah. So I've come a long way to where I'm actually pretty flat now. Yeah. But there's still some residual. So if you feel called oh, to- Oh, absolutely. In fact, the Bible says uh, he makes a crooked way straight. <laughs> right? That's what it says. And so so focus on, it's this right hip. So you've been trying to get this one straight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So focus on your right leg. Okay. And because the Lord, what the Lord will do is he'll give you a supernatural chiropractic adjustment where he'll loosen the muscles. That was a confirmation. He'll loosen the muscles and make your leg grow out. Okay. So, so you're more straight. So, yeah. so Lord, confirm, Holy Spirit, come in power upon our brother right now. He's got a lot of joy. And so... Confirm what I was just saying. All tight muscles be loosened right now. All pain go, all stiffness go. Right leg stretch out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Do it more Holy Spirit, more Holy Spirit. All pain go, all trauma. 33 years of tra that, 33 years ago was the accident. So mm -hmm. but don't make it up as how long it is. Jesus healed people that were that had something wrong with them for a lot longer than that. Yes. So, so all pain go. He makes the crooked way straight. So be healed right now in Jesus' name. Now do this, brother. Do this and walk a little bit. Feel the power of God. You feel lighter? Take a few steps, bro. Straight. Make the crooked way straight in Jesus' name. Straight. No pain. No pain. No pain. So, no pain. And you felt like the power of the Holy Spirit loosening things up, right? I just held the belief that that was true. I was feeling the power of God. <laughs> <laughs> <So> no <pain. laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> Thank, I am grateful. And, yeah. and the little bit of residual pain, you've had that every day for a long time now? Oh, man. It, the injury, once I got old, 20 years after the injury, had solidified, crystallized. I was in chronic pain for about 10, 12 years. Oh my gosh. But then four years ago, I had an insight. No one's going to fix I was going to all these doctors and chiropractors. They would just adjust me. I had an insight. No one's going to fix you. You have to take responsibility for your own body. So I started this rehabilitative self rehab. Right. With right. the Lord touching myself you. straight. Aligning yeah. yourself. Walking. Right. And um, that's been four years. Well, about nine months ago, my progress started to, I started to see major progress every time I would. Right. And so the, the progress started going exponential. And in the last couple months, I've, I've neared the end. This is incredible Yay. because God has now rewarded <laughs> your faith. You've been exercising faith by right. doing that yourself for the last couple of years, believing yes. that God would help you. Now he's rewarded you. I can feel the power of God Amen. saying that. Yeah. Take a few more steps. Tell me how it feels again when you're walking. I mean, I feel very good. So that you've come to a stage where you're coming close to the end of achieving this alignment in your True. body. Guess what? You're 33 years. Uh, you've been dealing with this for 33 years. Yeah. Next week is Passover. It's the beginning of Passover. Three. Jesus was crucified at 33 years at Passover. We are uh, coming yeah, close yeah, yeah. to the. <laughs> I thought of that 33 Isn't and it yeah with Jesus Lord's mission. Yeah, yeah. I believe the Lord was set Amen. this up to confirm this. Yes, has to be. Yes, Amen. Has to be. you are coming to the end. And He loves to work through others. Yes. For me, 
progress I know progress when things are happening yeah just when things are happening even if it feel like I felt a twinge of pain just now <laughs> but it was the kind of pain that said something just relaxed yeah good pain um, right right I gotta put some uh, money in my meter but can I come back and we yeah. So like, you feel looser and straighter, right? You sort of walking. Yes. Yeah. And the pain is gone. Is there some pain? I'm I'm in pain? no pain right now. Yeah, you're in no pain. No no pain. I'm just shifting my weight, like and put all no my weight pain. on my right foot, you know, and um, and, and testing like things mm -hmm. and. Um, See, the devil. I know the devil has been working overtime on your mind to get you to doubt is that God is with you because it's been so long. So you've had to fight to, 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 to convince the Lord that you believe in him. You've had to fight for that. Entering into the future by faith, experiencing the future by faith. I mean, the enemy tries to fight by enhancing the discomfort or enhancing yeah. the old feelings and reminding you of that. But then the Lord teaches us to rest in the knowledge that we are healed. Over the years, if you if you've said things like, "God, when are you going to heal me?" or "God, heal me," like I know it's a, it's an easy thing to do, but at the same time, it's not it's not totally in line with the scripture teaches about what He did already. That's why it says you have been healed. Like I said, it's past tense that word. You mm -hmm. look that up. How does it feel when you're walking? <laughs> Yeah. It feels great. Well, you know, <laughs> as I started to, as things started to really open up in here, suddenly muscles in my back engaged again. Yeah. And it was then that I realized that because of the nature of being knocked out and it healing that way for so many years, that there were muscles all around my body and all, all around right. where things had disengaged and there were yes. atrophy. Rehab has has evolved away from just the leg right. to other parts of the body, exactly. but things have come into yeah. into play. Ah! Oh, it hurts? Oh! It's the enemy attacking you. Woo! It's the enemy oh, trying to attack you, so all pain so go. Bad. All pain go. All pain go. Uh, it's the enemy shoulder. resisting. Oh yep. my God, that hurts. All pain go. Yes. All Did you pain hear go. It, it, you didn't hear it. It like snapped. Something cracked in my. Well, what, you know what? We're believing that's clavicle. a good thing. Yeah, We're it's because you're no, moving. No, absolutely, anyway. absolutely. Yeah. For four years, you, anything that's a change <laughs> do you feel means fold? it's opening right here on up. The sand? Fold. Uh, not fold exactly. So, oh yeah, kind of. Yeah, give him a supernatural ice pack right oh, now, Holy Spirit, because I can feel. Oh. I got wow. both my hands on them, and my left hand feels yeah. cold, and my right hand feels warm. Yeah. So Jeez. supernatural ice pack right now. That really started something. You were moving, moving. your shoulder yes, in yes. a new way. That's why. All, all, wow. all well, swelling. Been, what though. I just did. I've been doing that for weeks yeah. on this swelling, thing, like, swelling, like get, moving get, it. But get, after get, you t laid on hands, and I did that, something <laughs> yes. cracked. And I mean, I'm not afraid of that. Like that pain you just saw me go through. I, I'm joyful to have that happen because I need to get through this. I, I was in chronic pain for like 12 years. Yeah. Wow. Every step I would take with my right leg was uh, p potentially a stabbing pain. Imagine, right, right, right. imagine every time you step out, it, it could be like, ah! The power of God is there for you, and it's been a war. It's been a war. The enemy, the enemy does, he can't, he can't stand giving up ground. And you've been insisting on it. And yeah. <laughs> the Lord brought you here for us to minister to you. It's a tug of war. Yes, yeah. and, to, and to give you and give you more insight into the ministry of the Spirit and what Jesus has already done for you. So you have a different perspective going forward now as he's meeting you at your need. And, you, and so a, a perspective on what's yours. You really are coming to the culmination of it. And yeah. why I say that, it's because of the, one of the first things you said when you came here. Yeah. You were talking about how it's imperative to manage our thoughts. Yeah. And, and the, the real enemy here in this day and age with all that's happening is believing is I can be yes. beset by darkness. Fear. 
But if I had if well, I no question that they cannot touch me, then they cannot touch me. You're, like you're you're right. they get in the flesh. I think they get in the flesh because something about my psyche and the way I handle myself and I believe in myself allows them to come in like like you're right the vampire can't come in your home you unless you office. invite it yeah. and the invitation can be subtle yes just an idea or a belief that they yes. can come in or that I'm susceptible right. <laughs> right. Exactly. you know you understand spiritual warfare that's spiritual. yeah if you watch a, a, a godless movie that's an invite oh right. and I have I have been watching a lot of dark television okay I, I, I okay. felt led to bring that up because the Lord wanted it address the issue oh because when you when you turn on <laughs> when you turn on movies like that that are dark they're, they're de these are demons these people that make these I'm movies are in. you're inviting right. it in through the tv you're giving it so an invitation say, say this say this say say father i repent of watching godless stuff on tv father i repent of watching godless programming on television mm -hmm. i reject the internet yes i reject it i reject it and i command every evil spirit to get away from me I command every evil spirit, get away from me. My sins are forgiven. My sins are forgiven. Because I repent of it. Because I repent of In it. Jesus forgive In Jesus' me. name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, so we close that door. Every evil spirit that has been attacking Timothy through him opening the door, watching the movies, get out right now in Jesus' name. Timothy's home is a sanctuary, a holy sanctuary unto the Lord. And from this point forward, he's not going to watch any garbage on TV. Right. You can still that's watch. That's important. Yeah, that's yes. so important. Right? Yes, because it's you're... Not, it's not um, casual. Right. It's, it's a Nothing war. Nothing is casual. We're in a war. And so, so... My will, how I use my will to, to choose. Yes. Yes. It's, it's your choice. on me. Yes. And that's my free will, but that's also my power. Right. Yes, because... I can drive my car uh, independent of those... Right, right, right. Shows. Right. right. And Tom was saying that your home is sanctified and your body is a home. Your body yes. is a temple of the Holy Spirit. So right. you keep this home, this temple yes. sanctified because the Holy Spirit is so pure, so pristine. You don't want to expose it to anything that would grieve the yeah. Holy Spirit. Right. So Lord, we pray that as Timothy comes into this new stage in his life, Lord, bring the right people into his life because he's not only getting things in order in his body, but you're getting everything in order in his life as well. And there are certain people he needs to stay away from. There are certain activities he needs to stay away from. And now you want to reveal your mysteries to him. He's been ready and primed for this time. So Lord, bring the right people who will sharpen. They will sharpen each other. Iron sharpens iron. Bring those people to him, Lord, in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hey, hello! Have fun and, and, and uh, what's it called? Re recreation class? Free time? Mm -hmm. Bye. Fun time. Bye. 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 <laughs> Let's take a selfie, the three yeah. of us. Yeah, okay. I'm feeling sensations in, in my calf, in the front of my calf now. Right. This is how I gauge development with the injury. Yeah. And um, I'm feeling sensations in the lower part of my leg. Right. Which, you know, because those things have been locked up yes, in so the wrong free. alignment. Right, 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 right. And so as things get fixed, I'm feeling um, new sensations in right. my calf. Right, right. Uh, I'm feeling major changes <laughs> in my condition. Things have loosened up and um, <clears throat> muscles are in, engaged yeah. that weren't before. Don't be scared. Say it again. <laughs> I'm feeling great. I'm walking pain free. Yeah, I was telling Tim, it's, it's like been 33 wow. years. Wow. Together for now for, for like an hour and a half now, hacking and not with the power of the Holy Spirit, talking about Jesus the whole time, hacking and not having such a great effect. Amen. Amen. But yeah, the Holy Spirit's all over you. Hallelujah.